Hey, one thing I'm always getting asked about is the headphones I'm using in my videos. They're actually a really important part of my daily music workflow. And today I want to talk about my favorite headphones and some cool uses for them in the practice room that you may not know about. Jay Metcalf here with another Better Sax video. I actually wanted to do one video on all the high tech stuff I use in the practice room, but when I got to thinking about it, I realized I use so many different gadgets that one video would not be enough. So we're breaking it down into part one and part two. Part one today is about headphones. So the pair of headphones I use the most are these. They're uh, Bose, they're called a Sound Sport and they're Bluetooth headphones. I use them all the time. Why, you may ask. Remember in the last video about low-tech practice room gear, I talked about the custom fit earplugs that I use to protect my hearing. Well, these, these guys do the same thing. They actually fill up your ears so well, they block out the outside noise, which is very effective at protecting your ears from too much loud saxophone playing over time. So at the, while I'm using them to practice, I'm also protecting my ears at the same time. These things do such a good job of blocking out the outside noise that they've basically replaced my custom fit earplugs, at least in the practice room. They cost $149 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. And let's talk about a few of the ways I use these while I'm practicing. I start my practice session with long tones while using the Tonal Energy app as a tuner. Using earphones allows me to use the drone note feature of the app to work on intonation. Let me show you how. If you've been working with any visual tuner, you may have noticed that when you are making adjustments to get in tune, you will tend to overcompensate. So if you see that you're sharp, you're gonna adjust, and the result is you'll probably go flat and vice versa. A much, much better way to work on intonation is by just using your ear. If I click this button on the app, it will detect the note that I'm playing and automatically play the same pitch perfectly in tune, which I hear in my earphones. I can then match my pitch to that note using my ear and trying to line up the frequencies of the notes. Ideally, you want to be relying on your ears to play in tune. Working on intonation this way is a lot closer to a real world application where you're playing in a group, say, and you're listening to yourself against the other notes in the band to see if you're in tune. When you are playing your note, listen for the vibration or beats. When two notes are slightly out of tune, it creates an effect like this. Listen for that beating sound and adjust your pitch until the frequencies of the two notes line up and stabilize. This takes a little bit of practice, but it's not difficult to do. Now I can do this same exact thing without earphones, but it doesn't work quite as well for me. I'm always using the metronome when practicing. These earphones allow me to hear the click very clearly in my ears. Without them, I would be running my metronome through external speakers and have to turn the volume way up to be able to hear them over the sound of my saxophone. Now, I'm always learning new music by ear and transcribing solos by ear, and I find it more effective. I find the information goes into my brain better and more efficiently when I'm using the earphones rather than listening to the music through speakers. They're also great for playing along with backing tracks or play along recordings. Now keep in mind, these do have limitations. Um, you can't use them for recording because there's always a delay with the Bluetooth signal. So when I'm recording, I use 
different headphones. So these earphones allow me to do all those things while at the same time protecting my hearing during the long practice sessions. Now, you don't need Bluetooth headphones to do this. Any normal headphones will work fine. But I gotta tell you, not having a wire attached to my phone or whatever device is playing the music makes an enormous difference. Not having the wire get caught up in my saxophone keys and having the freedom to move around as I like while practicing is a huge bonus. And since I've started using these things, I would never go back to wired normal plug-in headphones. The sound of these is fantastic. They've got a great bass uh, response, a very good uh, sound over the whole range of frequencies. I'm actually surprised at how good they sound because I tried a few other pairs. I tried ones by Jabra and some JBLs and they were kind of terrible. Uh, then I got these. I've always been a fan of Bose. I used to have their uh, noise canceling, the over the ear noise canceling ones and the in-ear noise canceling, which I used for years. Uh, these sound as good as the, the other in-ear uh, plug-in headphones that Bose makes uh, with the added bonus of not having a wire. With these, they do such a good job of isolating the sound in your ear. I don't need noise canceling anymore when I'm on the plane or in a noisy environment. These things do almost as good of a job as the noise canceling. Now, regular plain old earbuds will reduce the volume of your saxophone playing a, a little bit. But if you really wanna protect your hearing, I recommend going with something like this, something that's sound isolating that will really block out a lot of the external sound. When I'm recording, I use different headphones. I, uh, I like these Shure in-ear monitors. Uh, they're a pain to get in your ear though, I have to say. Uh, I also would say, surprisingly, they don't sound as good to me as the Bose. They don't have nearly as much bass. And although these do a very good job of isolating sound, they don't isolate the sound as much as the Bose. Uh, these sure ones cost uh, about $100 on Amazon. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. What's nice about these is that they've got an extra long cable. So if you're recording or, or using them with a musical instrument at the same time, you get a little extra distance. And what makes them different from just a regular pair of earbuds, they don't have that microphone built in. And when you're recording, you don't want one of those built-in microphones uh, because it can interfere with the recording process. The, your device is always not sure which microphone to use. So it's, it's good to have a pair of, of earbuds or a pair of in-ear monitors like this that doesn't have an attached microphone. Now, my favorite set of headphones, the ones that sound the best, are these ones by Sony. These are the MDR7506, says professional headphones. They're super comfortable. They're really well made. You know, I've had lots of pairs of headphones and they usually fall apart over time. I don't use these all the time because they're not quite as portable. Uh, these are more for like mixing or just straight up listening to music. I highly recommend these, they sound great. So if you're not using headphones in the practice room, I hope I've given you some ideas on how they can benefit you. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Let me know which are your favorite sets of headphones and if you've got any other cool uses for them. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Go ahead and share this with any other musician who may be interested. If you're not already subscribed, get yourself subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.